coronavirus now spreading through the White House. Vice President Mike Pence's press secretary, Katie Miller, today testing positive for coronavirus. Miller is the press secretary who has handled the messaging from the coronavirus task force, which Pence, of course, heads up. There she is. Uh, you can see her. She attends White House coronavirus uh, task force briefings. There she is near the podium. This is Miller just yesterday working. Uh, you can see her. She's the one not wearing a mask, speaking to reporters as she traveled with the vice president to Alexandria, Virginia. Miller is also married to Trump's senior advisor and speechwriter Stephen Miller. These are two people with not just high-profile jobs, high-contact jobs. They come into contact with a lot of people in the West Wing from the very top on down. And what's even more alarming is an administration official says that Katie Miller actually tested negative just yesterday. That's the day we learned one of President Trump's uh, valets tested positive. Now, officials have told CNN that very few people inside the White House wear masks during the day, including valets. Now, though, President Trump says that'll change. Are you going to ask for people who serve you food to start wearing yeah. masks, gloves, well, they've some of the precautions started. that we're doing out here? The answer is yes, and they've already started. They've started, you know, weeks after the rest of the country. But why weren't more people who were coming into close contact with the president of the United States wearing masks since April 3rd? Because April 3rd is the date when the CDC recommended that all Americans wear masks over a month ago. Well, perhaps the reason that none of them were wearing masks is because the president himself doesn't wear a mask. Just today, he greeted World War II veterans who are in their 90s without a mask. The youngest vet there was 96 years old. Why didn't the president wear a mask? Well, here's what he said. I was very far away from them. We were very far away. You saw, uh, plus the wind was blowing so hard in such a direction that if, if the plague ever reached them, I'd be very surprised. It could have reached me, too. You didn't worry about me. You only worried about them. But it was just three days ago at a plant that makes masks in Arizona. People Trump was speaking to there, they were all wearing masks. People who work at making masks, they were wearing masks. They were spaced six feet apart. The commander-in-chief not wearing a mask. But now that the virus is in the halls of the White House, will the president start following his administration's own guidelines? 